Hey planner babes, it's Mandy from Create with Mandy and today I'm going to plan in my classic catch-all happy planner for the week of Christmas and I'm so excited. I have my Santa mug with me today and I'm wearing my ugly Christmas sweater and yes I am filming this early because I plan to be with my family for Christmas but I'm really excited to plan this week's spread. It's going to be my last spread in this planner. I'm really like bittersweet about it. I'm ready to get started in a new planner, but you know, it's always, it's a little weird to know that it's my last spread. So I thought today's video would start a little differently just for fun. I felt very much in the Christmas spirit. And so I decided to go ahead and do this fun little intro and show my face for once because I haven't done that in a while. So I also wanted to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting me and my channel, watching my videos all year long. I really appreciate it. I started in June with little expectations and here we are now, uh, more than 2,000 subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you. You're making my dreams come true because this along with my business, uh, my Etsy shop, um, this is my job. So I'm just so thankful to call this my job. So I really have you guys to thank for that and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Um, if you're not subscribed and you're new, please consider subscribing. And um, if you like this video and you like the plan with me, please like it and leave me a comment. Let me know what you're up to um, or what you thought or whatever. I always respond to all my comments and I love talking to you guys. So please leave me a comment. All right, so let's get to the plan with me. All right, guys, let's get down to planning. So um, here's my planner. I'm going to use the pages of the Squad Girl planner for the last time. And we'll see if we cover up the girl or not. <laughs> um, and then like I have been um, mentioning in my past videos, I'm using this winter book for the whole month of December. It just kind of happened like that because I did not get the new Christmas um, Marion Bright book just didn't work out. I didn't get it in my squad box. And then I saw it at the store and I was so tempted, but I was like, no girl, just use the stickers you have, right? So anyway, here we are. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we do that, let me get my wax paper. Got my coffee here. I'm gonna take a sip and probably mess up my lipstick. And uh, it's a little cold, so goodbye, Santa. All right, so wax paper if you're new, so I can put my stickers down and just kind of arrange them before I stick it down to the paper. Um, and then it takes a little bit of the stick off in case I do need to peel it back up once it is down. So hopefully I won't have to do much rearranging. So. Um, I started using these little countdown stickers uh, back two weeks ago, like when the first day was, like 12 days until Christmas. And so I feel obligated to use them, not in a bad way, but like I, I want to as well, but like I should, right? Because I started them, I'm not just going to um, leave four numbers in the book. Also, if I do that next year, the calendar will be different, like... Um, like Christmas isn't going to be on a Friday next year. Well, it'll be on like a Saturday, right? So, so if I did save these for next year, I'd be missing the five, right? For Monday, because next year you'd need five days on the week of Christmas, right? I hope that makes sense. Okay. I'm just going to take this page out because these guys are hard to pull out. I don't really need to put these on the wax paper, but... I kind of just want to get rid of this sheet. All right, ta-da! So satisfying. Okay, I feel like this week is the week to use a Santa, but let's uh, just wait until the end or whatever. So for this week, the only sticker that I knew I wanted to use was this one right here. Um, I don't know why, I mean, I, obviously the 25, and so I kind of wanted to put that on Christmas. Um, and it was just really pretty. I like that it's like this like tan nude background with the teal. I don't know. And then this one's right next to it and just kind of matches nicely. 
Um, and then to the right, there's this ornament that matches. There's this Mary, Mary, Mary that's gold. And so I definitely want to go with gold this week. And then this one also matches um, that same like nude color. So I'm going to pull those out. Now, I don't want it just to be these two colors because that's not super Christmassy. So I'm thinking like what is my third color going to be? And I tried to think about this beforehand and my two options are pink and like the dark the dark red that appears in this book so I don't know I already have red with these so it would kind of go um, but there's also a lot of pink on the page which I think I'm gonna leave regardless of my decision but that's why I'm kind of torn I don't want to use the dog though unfortunately because I think I want it to be a little more sophisticated with the ornament although if I do add Santa it's gonna lose that sophistication but um I, I know I don't want to do the dogs which I'm a dog person I have a dog but for some reason I'm just not feeling them maybe I'll use them in my like social media planner um, because I haven't planned all my spreads yet I have a few more because like I said I'm film I'm doing this a little bit early what is I think we're like two weeks out because I'm, I'm planning on going to see my parents for Christmas and so so I have to film this early and um yes okay I was talking and then thinking there was a sticker that I missed because there was one I had been thinking of and I think I did miss it <laughs> um this one okay um I was thinking I think we'll just go with the red I think it's a little more like Christmassy than the pink and last week I did um, very colorful. I did this color scheme here. The, I used um, some of these. So, and I don't want the two spreads to look the same. So, I, get, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just talking in circles. But anyway, th I think I know. I think you know what I'm talking about. Or, or you'll figure it out. Because I know I'm even confusing myself here. But anyway, so I think this is going to be my color palette. Um, yeah. I mean, that could always change, obviously, because I haven't thought it through all the way. Um, and so let's grab some more stickers. Thinking if I want an errands or today. I always um, kind of like leave these kind of little stickers until the end because sometimes I don't know what color I'll need. Like, I'll have a good spot for a sticker like this, but I don't know what color. But I just pulled it out. Okay. So, looking for my color scheme. Oh, this Home for the Holidays is really cute. It's got my colors in it. So, I also don't want to, like, limit myself to this color scheme in case I see a cute one. Or another cute one. Like a baking holiday cookies. I, th I think we will bake them this week. Or at least some. And then this ho 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 is cute and it's in that teal. Uh, there's so many good quotes in this book. Oh, and there's some gold ones. I think I want to use the gold ones. Ah! Oh, there's so many cute quotes. It's, I'm like borderline hoarding them. Okay, now this one is so cute, but obviously it's the same as this, so I think that's out. Um, I like the coffee and Christmas music, like, that's cute, and compared to some of the other ones, I feel like the Stay Cozy you could use, like, after Christmas. Same with this one, sweater, snowflakes, hot, cozy blankets, hot cocoa, um, and same with hot cocoa and fuzzy socks, so I'd rather use more Christmas-specific ones, just because this is the last week to use them. Um, except for in my memory planner, I guess I could use them in there. But anyway, so I liked that one. The Jingle Bells is small enough. I could probably fit that one in somewhere, but I, I, I'll just wait. Now, some boxes. Do I like any of those? Kind of like that one goes. Let's pull it out. All right. And um, sweaters. 
I feel like I want to use one because I haven't used them at all and they're so darn cute. Here's a good one. It's got both the red and the cream. Here's the, here's all three colors. I think I'll just use this one. Plus Santa. And then kind of going along with it, with what I just said, I feel like you could use all the rest of these except for maybe these two, um, like after Christmas. Maybe not that one either, but like at least these guys you can still use in like January. So maybe I will just try to use the most Christmas specific and it matches. This one's really cute too. Let's, but let's pull the more Christmas specific. Maybe I'll use two. All right. Um, now here's a lot of good ones. I just don't know about this shape. And I don't know, cause that one's cute too. But again, the shape, so these are like monthly, um, monthly boxes. Hmm. I, let's just hold on to them. So I also haven't decided what kind of a layout, like if I'm going to cluster on the middle or if I'm just going to kind of do, um, like put everything in a, in its own box and have it very like clean like that. I don't know what I'm doing. So that's kind of hard. Okay. I think, do I want to use one of these? I don't think so. Any trees? The trees would be cute. I used two trees last week though, and I don't want these spreads to look similar. So let's hold off. Um, here's some, I could spell out Christmas. Um, and then these are all blue. Okay. Now, do I wanna put Christmas and Christmas Eve, like little stickers with, um, you know, the holidays on them? I don't think there's any in this book. Hmm. Just browsing again. There's a good Mary and I could write Christmas underneath. Maybe I should take that one out um, just to have it ready in case I do that. Also, I like this one, but it, oh, it kind of matches with that. Let's use it because I've kind of been eyeing this one for a little bit now. And it, it does go. That'll be like the accent color because you have it in here and then now in the background. So now we have it in two places. Okay, also Santa, I think we're gonna not do him because he's got a blue background and we have him here, so. Okay, there's also this winter festivities. I could put this on Christmas or Christmas Eve and like actually write our plans. So that could be good. Or um, there was also these guys, which is a similar type of deal. Um, let's pull it out. I can always put it back since it's just going on the wax paper. Um, and we'll see what how much room we have left. And then I could grab one of these. I'm like tempted to grab the red. No, let's grab this one in case I use one on Christmas Eve and one on Christmas. Although I don't know what our plans are this year because everything is different. Usually on Christmas Eve, we go to my um, aunt and uncle's house in Boca, if you're familiar with Florida cities. And um, that was always fun. I don't know if we're gonna do that because of just staying safe and not trying to get people sick. Um, and when I say I'm going home to my family, like my immediate, immediate family, just um, my parents, my two brothers, and then my sister-in-law and nephew. So I think that's like six people, which is also risky and scary, but I don't know. All right, so I think I've got enough stickers. <laughs> you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, stop, just put it down. Um, like put the stickers down. There's also this one. Okay, 
Wishing you a Merry Christmas. See that? Ugh. Too many cute ones. There's just so many cute quotes in this book, you guys. Seriously. <sighs> okay. Um, And then I have this. So what am I going to do about the holidays? Should I go grab a book that has them? Uh, let me cut this guy. Try to be quick here. We've got the holidays here. I just used two in a different spread. So we have the green and green, which I don't really want. There's also gold, I think. Yeah, so we could use those. We'll do that. Let me take them out. Okay, I'm glad this was an option. I was afraid there wasn't going to be an option. Um, and then, yeah, that's that should be it. Um, no, none of those guys. I was looking for a different, another birthday sticker. Because it is my sister-in-law's birthday on the 21st. But I don't see one. Might just have to write it in so that it all matches and is cute. Okay, let's get started. So this one I for sure knew I want to be on Christmas. And I'm already kind of feeling in the mood to put everything in its box and have its own place. Um, weirdly enough. So let's go ahead and, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do it. So this is kind of new for me to do like everything in its box and like I might do some layering, but it's not gonna be like dramatic. Um, like how I do everything across the middle. Okay, let's use this big guy down here. I feel like I want to put it before Christmas or on Christmas. I don't want to put it the days after. Could put it down here in the corner and cover her up. Ooh. Let's do over here. Get it straight. Okay, I haven't done a spread like this in a while where I put everything in its everything in a box and and it's kind of weird. Okay. Now I think this guy should go over here. And so I kind of want it to be separate from here this guy because they look similar to me. Or they kind of match. So I want to separate them. And then um, the red, I want to separate from this red. So, hmm. And then I still have this one, so I don't know what page it'll go on. I kind of like, maybe I should be arranging these at the same time. So, I feel like one is going to be dependent on the other. Okay, so I kind of like this here. I also don't want to crowd Christmas Eve and Christmas because I have a feeling I want to use these stickers and then we still got these. Um, not that I'm going to write a lot in those days, but definitely like what we're doing. But I'm kind of feeling this in this spot right here. So let's put it down. You can always take it back up because of the wax paper. And then maybe, I'm like so tempted to put it like right in the middle over top of a line, but I think I'm gonna keep everything in its spot. Let's put it here. All right. So, um, I was wanting to use those. The Mary was going to be cute, but now that I've put that there, I think maybe I will just layer the Christmas day on top of here or here. Let's do it. I don't know where. Kind of like it here. 
but it's close to that little ornament. I don't love it, but I want it layered on top of this sticker somewhere. Why is this so difficult? Okay, let's do that. I like that. And then Christmas Eve, I, when I think of Christmas Eve, I just think of like nighttime for some reason. So I wanna put it down here towards the bottom of the page. And let's see if we um, want to put this guy. Although now all the red boxes are at the bottom if I put this here. Plus we might not be doing anything on Christmas Eve. But, oh, I could put it up here. No, I don't like it. What if we do this? And then maybe put Christmas Eve? No. Ugh, I'm not loving it. Okay, let's move on. Come back to it. Um, how about these countdowns? Because I know that those are going to have to go in here somewhere. What if I kind of do what I did last week and kind of like sneak them in around each, around um, the boxes. So these will be overlapped on top of multiple days. I need like a box or something over here on Wednesday. So I'm gonna wait. Ooh, this spread is like, give me a challenge because I don't plan like this very often. How about a sweater? So, thinking something like this and maybe I will put a, like a box um, right here, overlapping with it. I think that's a good balance on this page. And then over here, I like that it has Santa and so I'm kind of, Wanting something like this. Maybe put the Christmas over top. That's cute. I like that. Okay. Um, let's see about this today. What if we put that on Monday? Bring some more red up to the top. I'm like so tempted to like offset it a little bit and I think I will because I can't help myself. And um, maybe this Mary sticker over here. I'm starting to layer a little bit. <laughs> okay, and Now, a qu the quote, there's not a lot of, well, no. And the pretty, the gold foil in each page is pretty equal. But let's see where we want this guy. I was kind of thinking about somewhere like right here. Um, I feel like that's the best space for it, or over here. Um, could also just put it right up here because it's a little wide, like a little bit wider than these boxes. I don't know. I could go there. It's a little boring there. Let's just go with my first instinct, which was to put it here. Okay. Use a disc to kind of get those air bubbles out and it just makes it look better. can't really read the AS over top of the sweater, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I also am like running out of room for this guy, so I feel like I need to put that here. And I think, I think I'm gonna cover up this girl because she doesn't really match with everything else. And I don't know what the heck to put there though, because I kind of want to put something on top of it because you'll notice that there's paper there or if I cover it with paper first and then a sticker but we'll see. So 
So I kind of want to put this guy, I was going to say shove this sticker, but I don't know where to put it. There's not a lot of room, but I, I got to use it. Okay, and then two days, where the heck does this one go? What if I just cut off the number? And put it down here. Kind of like that idea. It's like it's still, we're still counting down, but it's not like all the attention is on it because there's, it's kind of big. I like that. I could cut the bottom off of all of these stickers because I know what they're talking, I know what it's for. I know what the sticker is talking about. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I guess I could just my exacto knife is over on the other desk and I don't feel like getting it. All right, I still need to figure out a solution for this girl in the corner. I feel like a quote is one of the few things though that <clears throat> I don't mind if it's not in the boxes, but if I put a box sticker down there, it's gonna be out of the lines and then it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like I've been keeping all the boxes in the boxes, and then everything else can kind of be free. So I don't know. This, this one's too small. What if I layered two of them together? I think it might be a little weird. Um, but you know what I could do is, I could add a little quote, because there were some little quotes and kind of make a little cluster in the corner here. Let's do that with this sticker and then for the for the rest there I should just or I should have already just covered it up with a piece of sticker paper. Okay, now here is the sticker. So the Jingle Bells is little and that will probably be the best option. Oh, there's also a red quote. I know I just decided on that one, but this one. Oh, what fun. Um, let's do the, the gold. I know, I should have just, you should always stick with your first instinct. Oh, that's cute. I like it layered over top. It's a cute little, it's like a mini cluster. Okay, now I've got a few things left. Now, what about these guys? And then the Christmas Eve. I could put Christmas Eve right here. Hmm. Not my super fave. And then what about these? So, I don't know. These are boxes and I'm kind of trying to keep everything in its box, right? So I don't think I like them. There's too much going on. If I was layering, I'd probably, you know, shove it in there because I say that I shove stickers. Um, but because I feel like with layering, you can just kind of keep adding and adding, but whatever. So I want to use this guy because he's cute and he's got the same dark teal green as this. So we want to put him over here somewhere. What if I add him to this cluster? Let's do it. It's going to be so cute. Like I said, you guys, I'm doing this early, so that's why it's not written in. So here's what I'm talking about with the layering. Last week's spread, which I have the plan with me up for this one like it there's a lot of layering and so for a sticker like this I could have just kind of put it in here somewhere and it would have looked okay just not in the lines I don't know that's what I was talking about all right I like it 
Now, um, there's nothing on Sunday. Let's put something on Sunday. And then we also have these two, which I want to use because we have the same color again. And so I feel like we need to kind of spread that out. So there's a little bit more of it throughout this whole layout. Um, I said I was gonna put a box here, but I didn't. The thing is these boxes are so narrow. It's like, what do you write in them? And then this guy. I like circles with um, like straight lines. I think in the corner would be cute there, but there's already a lot of that like cream color. So I think I'll just put it here. Not necessary, but. And then I don't know where to put that. Okay, so now for Sunday, I don't even know what would look good there. Maybe a box sticker, I don't know. Um, oh, maybe one of these guys. And then where would it go? What color? Um, here's one. Could just put it like right there. That, that would actually work really well. But do I like the color? So it's cream with red, remember? We also have the option of um, that's more, it's more like green, but I guess that could go. But I have a coffee right here, so I don't want to put that one. I could use just a, a quote, like this Merry and Bright or the cof Coffee and Christmas music. Let's see how this one would look. Um, because there's not too much red, but now the, both the red stickers are next to each other. I don't know, you guys. I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but I don't love it just sitting at the bottom here. Especially with the notch taken out. If anything, I would want to bring it up. So it's underneath the sweater a little bit. Or this one. Let's just go with this one because I'm already liking it a little bit better. I feel like sometimes you just need to kind of compare them together like that. Okay. And what if I put this guy over here? Let's put him at the top. I don't know why, but there's nothing up, up there, so that doesn't look bad. Okay, I like it. So, oh, I also have these stars left over, so let's go ahead and sprinkle those around. So, I <laughs> have two choices here. I could sprinkle them up between the numbers. Um, that would be cute. Or I can sprinkle them in the spread in spaces that I know I'm not going to write, like right here. I don't know, I think it'll be cuter, like, in the spread, so... I'm going for it. Here's a big one. Now I don't know where to put it. Let's do that. Let's put a little guy next to him. Um, where else? And I have enough for one more little cluster of two stars. Where should they go? They're very tiny. So I've got here, here, and here. So I'm thinking maybe over here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, I've decided on this little corner. They're cute and dainty. Okay, so I think 
We have this Mary, but there's no reason now to put it. These two didn't work. We're gonna do the thing I always do and think I'm done, but go look for more stickers because I can't help myself. So one more quick flip because I feel like we could be done, but there's always something else, right? At least we know, um, see, maybe just something like this somewhere. One of these little guys. Um, let me think about where I'm gonna write for each day. Probably gonna write here. Definitely gonna write in this box, but possibly a little bit in these. Maybe here. Probably gonna write in this middle box on Christmas. And right in here, and then right here, and maybe, maybe here too. So, if I did add one of these headers, maybe in one of these days, I don't know. Here's the, the dark teal. What if I did something like this? I don't know. It's not horrible, it can just stay. Okay, so with that, just placing that sticker there made me think that this is like a big solid color sticker and that's good because it's drawing your eye towards the middle of the page um, rather than like out to a corner somewhere, I guess. But I like it, it's pretty, it's very balanced. It's, it was like kind of fun to do um, like a little bit different than normal by putting the boxes in the boxes, right? But yeah, so that is how it turned out. Let me go ahead and put it back in my planner. Here we go. I like it. Ooh, I just pulled that up. I like it. It's cute. I'm happy. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a really great Christmas and holiday season. Next time I see you, I will be planning in my new planner. Yay. If you haven't seen my 2021 planner lineup yet, go check that out so you can see all the planners I'm using and what I'm using them for and stuff. So anyway, well, I will see you guys next year. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Video is going to come out on Sunday. Okay. Well, I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys.